Hi guys, I know I sound like crap between allergies and just getting over a cold. Yes, it was a cold. I did not have COVID. Um, I'm doing this video because I needed to get it out and I got these in the mail the other day and I just hadn't had time to do it and the video goes up tomorrow. And so, as you know, I got pretty much all of the 90s twins collection. There's just a few things I didn't get. And the one thing that I didn't pick up right away that I really wanted to get was Isabel's tennis outfit. So I did go ahead and purchase Isabel's tennis outfit when I got my reward. I'll quickly show you what else I got, but I'm not going to open it in this video. I did also pick up the Truly Me um, Pretty Pumpkin costume for Halloween. It was on clearance. And with my... I. This was only $40, and my rewards was $50. That was on sale for 30 something And then they had, um, there's some other discount I got. And then, um, for St. Patrick's Day, they did Are You Lucky? And I got 100 bonus, um, points for rewards. So, um, I do still want to get the girls bedroom accessories and then I wanted to get one more set of the um sorry my brain just like literally um the pizza hut set um I haven't shown this yet I'm not gonna go do a whole in depth video but I did end up getting the bunk bed I wanted so I know it's not the greatest video with it because of how close it is to camera. The girls are laying on it. It is the yellow bunk bed. I've got Isabel down here and Mickey on the bottom and I have them in different outfits. But I did find that so I'm really happy about that. So hopefully when we get a house their room will be their room. I can have that. I like that it's yellow in the chair for their desk set is yellow as well. And there is a white American Girl, um, oh, like, in our night table. So I'm going to see if I can maybe find that to put next to it since the desk itself is white. So it'll kind of tie in everything. And then, like I said, I want to get their bedroom accessories to go with that. And then I've got fabric to hopefully find someone that can custom make them bedding to go with this because I personally do not um I'm not gonna get their bedding I personally like I don't really like Nikki's bedding I find it very weird that one side is purple leopard and on the other side is black and white zebra which to me the leopard craze didn't come till like mid 2000s um, I think if they would have done something more, like they, she has that alien pillow, like if they would have done something more like with alien or I don't know. I liked Isabel's bedding, so I did find something kind of close to what her bedding was. So what I'm going to do is I want the top side, like Isabel's is going to be floral, and I honestly don't remember what I picked out for Nikki, but it was something more Nikki style, but then, oh, um, it was a um, planet, it's almost like a space theme. And I want to try to find like the little alien pillow for it. But then on the back side of both of them, I want to have a matching fabric. So they're both going to have the same fabric on the back side of their bedding. That way, um, it matches together, but then it does show their individualism. Because that's the other thing that bothered me about the bedding is Isabel's is floral with that really pretty gingham on the back side, and Nikki's is the, t the double animal print. And yes, I get, and their beds were the same, but that was about as far as it went. And I got their different personalities, but I it, it bothered me, so this will keep me aesthetically happy. So let's get into Isabel's um, tennis outfit. And if you hear meowing in the background, our kitten sushi got fixed last week. And she got fixed on Thursday. We kenneled her Thursday, Friday. 
half the day Saturday. Saturday's like when my cold kicked my butt. Sunday was really bad, my cold kicking my butt. And then I let her out half the day Saturday, but she just slept in bed with me all day. Sunday, she pretty much slept in bed with me, but she started jumping on stuff when she shouldn't have, and I was trying to stop her. And then we think at Sunday night, her, she loves to chase Jack and, like, try to fight with Jack. And we're wondering if she did that and somehow part of her incision opened up. Not enough, like, her organs to come out or, like, blood everywhere. But enough that it didn't look happy. So we took her back Monday morning to the vet and they re-glued her because she stitched inside. And then they glued it to try to help heal, promote better healing. And, um... They had to re-glue that spot that was really bad. And then they told us she has to be kenneled for a week. So she is protesting this. So if you hear her, sorry. I just have to learn to ignore it myself because every time she has, I want to go let her out. But when I let her out, I let her walk around for a little bit. And then she tries starting to jump on stuff. So then it's like, no, nope, back in the kennel. And just an FYI, guys, you know we have a Great Dane. She has two kennels. Sushi is in one of the Great Dane's kennels. So she's got plenty of room before people, you put her in a kennel. She's actually in a bigger kennel than a vet would have. She would be in a vet's office or even in a um, shelter setting. So she's fine. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm going to get a fuzzy on it. Oh, there was one piece. That it was two pieces so apparently this is a dress so we've got a white pleated bottom of the skirt of this dress for isabel's outfit so for my visually impaired i've pulled out isabel's outfit and the top is like knit and it's like a light lavender white light blue and then like almost a neon green argyle print with gold um accenting the argyle the collar of the knit is white and then underneath there's like this faux button down so the white collar comes over and then there's a single button it does velcro in the back i honestly never looked truly much at it in the store i knew i wanted to get it because i had everything else but it wasn't exactly my favorite piece i thought it was a skirt with a top like I, I understood that this was going to be probably one piece up here, like the, um, the button down part being faux, but I thought the skirt and the top were separate. Like this was going to be a vest part and then the skirt was going to be separate, but I guess we're doing this now. We go from one extreme to another. We've gone from Courtney, who is completely all mix and match outfits that drive me freaking nuts because they have so many of them and they have so many options and then you look at the rest of the doll line and they have practically nothing but they're like oh it's mix and match so she needs only she needs like three pairs of shoes she needs like eight tops she needs like 16 bottoms like so you can make all these ones so we go from mix and match to this and then like how isabelle's neat outfit is it's one piece where everybody's saying the vest should have came off the button down top so that's a little disappointing um and then we've got some white it's supposed to be like underwear but really once again if they would have made these two pieces a tennis skirts always have a built-in underwear underneath them like that so you wouldn't need a separate under white underwear to go under the outfit had this been a skirt with the underwear built in so just a white underwear to go under the skirt We've got just some waist, white basic tennis shoes. Um, they're very similar to um, some of the boys, one of the boys outfits, shoes. And then um, Logan's shoes are also similar to these, but these are just white. They're like a faux leather. They're almost like a Ked feel to them. I think that's what they were going for. And then we have got a pair of white socks with that light blue neon green and um lavender stripe around the ankle so these are like short ankle socks 
And then we've got one yellow plastic ball. Ah. Not even fuzzy. It's just like a ping pong ball and it's yellow. So if you lose these guys, all you need is a ping, a yellow ping pong ball. And then lastly is the tennis racket. And it is a light blue and neon green tennis racket and the handle is white. And the handle also has this clear thing so that you can put it in her hand for her to hold it. And then inside the tennis racket, it's clear where the netting of the racket would be. Unlike the bedroom that you sent me, and we've got a little pamphlet. So it's got Isabel in her outfit on the tennis court for that two-in-one thing they have. So honestly, at this point, the only things I'm not going to get from the collection is this two-in-one tennis court skateboard set and the girls beds I don't have room for that two-in-one set it's cute honestly I'm not a fan of the whole tennis I played tennis but I'm not a fan piggy really this pig come go come here come come on sit good girl there's piggy you see how big she's gotten Hopefully you saw her sit. Good girl. But I'm not a fan of this play set. I do kind of like the skateboard part. But they've had a skateboard set in the past. So I may try to look for the other skateboard set. And then we've got Isabel started, starts playing tennis after her so-called friend kicks her out of the dance group. The feeling of hitting balls against a backdrop helps relax her. Thwop, bop. At first, she's not very good, but all that matters is she loves it. What kind of tennis player are you? Take this or that to find out. And then it has tennis time. This, it has a drawing of a girl playing tennis here, and then another picture of Isabel loading the ball hopper on the other page. And then would you rather be team captain, team spirit, Trying to figure out how it even gets you down. Like, there's no scoring to this, or this or that quiz. Oh, read Isabel's journal to discover more, because the other ones are be voted team captain or team spirit spreader, meet a tennis star or watch the U.S. Open, play doubles or singles, wear shoes that give you super speed or shoes that cause jump superpowers. Spend a week at tennis camp or have a tennis court in your backyard. Pay in front of thousands of fans or just for your family. Make team spirit bracelets or keychains. Star in a tennis movie or work behind the camera. But it doesn't really give you... That one's weird. So, that is Isabel's tennis outfit. I know this one was a little bit longer. Explaining sushi and then even the bed stuff, so... Um, I will be back. I've got some other purges and videos that I need to upload. And I have got a huge bag of Reborn haul that's going to probably have to be broken into two or three videos. Because I've been buying stuff here and there. Nothing big of, <coughs> excuse me, substantial. But, um, come here. Come Turn. Uh oh. Come. Over. Over. No, you're not going to outside right now. Come. Turn. Sit. Stay. Good girl. Um. Stay. Pig, look here. Hopefully you can kind of see her. Um, but. It just kept adding up and adding up, and I really haven't done much reborn content lately. Honestly. Poor. Sean is still in his avocado taco pajamas, and I did change Macy into a more out of her Halloween costume finally. <coughs> but both need to be changed for spring, so I hope to see everyone in the next video. Bye!